The best thing I think about studying classics is its versatility. It's one of the reasons that I picked this course is that I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I went to university. And I thought, how could I do kind of six different things at once? And classics has archeology, span it has philosophy, it has, you know, you study your texts, you do translations, but you write essays. So there's um, loads of different things you can do when you're studying classics. So that's why I picked it. And that's what I love so much about it. Also, the classists at Wadham are so friendly and we all get on really well. When you're in your first year, when you're in your final year, everybody is friends with each other, which I find really lovely and kind of a supportive academic environment. The mixture of teaching and learning in classics that I've experienced at Wadham is, I think, quite unique compared to other degrees in that the lectures are not actually mandatory. So um, instead of getting your kind of core information from the lectures, you go and you hear about a professor's opinion on a certain topic. So if I go into, say, for example, my Iliad lectures that I took in my first year, it's not, this is the information you need. It's here's what I think about the heroic ideal in the Iliad or here's what I think about women in the Iliad and then you can use those to inform your essays which are another big part of kind of classics it's the main work that I would say you would do during the week uh, you either have one or two essays a week of 2,000 words and it's up to you to read the reading list go through the things that you think would be necessary write up your essay plan uh, and then your essay and you hand it in to your tutors and then you have then have what's called a tutorial which is a kind of small group um, that is out between an hour and an hour and a half, sometimes two hours, and it's you and your professor um, and maybe one to three other people. Maybe the biggest tutorial I've ever had has been four people. The smallest tutorial I've ever had has been just me and my tutor, and you spend time going over your essay and talking about it and thinking about the concepts that come up. And the final kind of main thing that you have in classics is language classes or reading classes. So I learned Greek from scratch, so in my first year I did a lot of um, Greek learning, which was, you know, learning the grammar, starting to read the text, getting to grips with the alphabet and um, all that type of thing. As I went on, um, I then started to do like language classes, so it was more, here is 300 lines of Latin or 300 lines of Greek, read it, if you have any problems you bring them up in the class and it really helps you to get to grips with reading a language that you know not many people can read um, before they come to university so it's it's a real mix of um, of learning at Oxford doing classics <laughs>